Hi everyone, so today we are going to create the circumscribed circle of a triangle. So right now I have my GeoGebra Java applet open on my screen. And what you're going to do is we're first going to create a triangle. So you can do that by clicking on this triangle. It's a polygon selection button. And we're just going to go ahead and create a triangle. So you want to create your three vertices, A, B, and C. And then to close off that polygon, go ahead and click back on your point A. And there's our triangle. So in order to create our circumscribed circle of this triangle, we first have to construct the three perpendicular bisectors of these three sides of the triangle we created. So to do that, you're going to go, go ahead and click on where you see the perpendicular line tool. And you see that there's a little red arrow on the right corner, on the bottom right corner of that tool. You're going to click that, and it's going to give you all these options. So of course, we want the perpendicular bisector. So go ahead and select that. And then it's easy. All you have to do is select each side of the triangle. So go ahead and select side AB, a, side BC, and last but not least, side AC. Oops, sorry. Let's try that again. It's not letting me select it. Sorry about that little error that came up. So I, go, I went ahead and I also created the perpendicular bisector of AC. So we have these three perpendicular bisectors. And if you notice, they all intersect at one point. So this intersection point is the concurrency point of our three perpendicular bisectors. And we want to make that intersection point. So in order to do that, we want to go up on our toolbar over here. And you see this point A. And again, we want to select on that red arrow on the bottom and, and select intersect two objects. So you can select any of the three perpendicular bisectors that you created. And just remember, this intersection point, this concurrency point of these three perpendicular bisectors is called the circumcenter. So we have our circumcenter D. And last but not least, we have to create our circle. So we are going to use the circumcenter as the center for our circle. You're going to come up to the circle option here and just select that. And what we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and select point D. And then you can drag your circle out to any of your points, either A, B, or C. It doesn't make a difference. And when you get to that point, go ahead and select your point A, and you have created now the circumscribed circle of a triangle.